Okay, here we go. That project I mentioned on the pointless thread. One three cell battery, 0.200 milliamp. One USB cable, which I spliced in to a servo extension, female side servo extension. One speed controller, complete with Dean's connector. As you can see, I just taped off the motor wires just to make sure you don't accidentally touch and cause me a problem. One lighter socket with a Dean's connector. And a wire cable. One project box. Very straightforward. You get these at Radio Shack or other hobby places, whatever. And yes, that rattling noise was one of Dave's favorite things to use popsicle sticks and I cut them at certain sizes because inside the project box there's little grooves which I don't know if you can see them or not probably not oh, there you go you see little grooves down in there with the light that, that reflects off it um, in order to sink some things in places I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna run them in the grooves like that so that there's something for the batteries for things to push on and when I put a piece of foam it'll give a, a little more rigidity so the setup is really quite straightforward you plug this in to one side you plug this in to the other side and you have something that you can plug in your basic inverter car inverter for 120 volts you've all seen these Radio Shack and other places these run about uh, anywhere from 10 to 20 dollars give or take the type of one you want to two plug three plug I just got a simple one um, actually this one was given to me uh, but anyway um, and it works uh, just fine so what I'm going to do is when I'm done this is going to go into the project box right about here and it's just going to go right through so it'll be out I'm going to hot glue that in there and then I'm going to mount this it's a female USB so that you can take a USB cable of some kind like this where you charge your phones with your connector for your phone on the other end you know, or other like mp3 device or whatever and you can plug it in and you can run it right from there so we've seen these ones before um, Jettaman Dan did one where he hooked up a battery to a speed control and ran his uh, one of his phones I think it was an iPhone or something that he had anyway um, used it as a battery backup for extra time and Scott Lott at one point had turned around and, and said guys um, three cell battery and the cigarette lighter plug and you throw in an inverter and off you go and I got to thinking and I thought you know what why not put both in the, both of them in the same thing so I'm building myself a project box that does both um, I haven't finished mounting everything in the box but the battery fits in no problem this is a 2200 like I said a 2200 milliampere battery get a wire in the way there okay it goes in and there's there's room as you can see for it to slide forward or backward there's there's plenty of space in here as you can see space forward space backward I can move it forward or backward there's to, it, there's quite a bit of room in there um, so that's going to go in the speed control is going to go in this is going to be mounted I'm not sure where I'm going to mount this as yet I'm probably going to mount it up off on the top or maybe out on the opposite side over here so that it doesn't uh, interfere so I can plug from either end and it won't give me much of a problem or on the side over here somewhere I'm not sure yet but anyway but there it is basically in a nutshell and when it's all done It'll all be covered up nice and neat inside. A nice little project box. And uh, basically, you know, it's, it's just a, a brick with uh, that can be powered. Um, I was considering making um, a, a triple cable on there so that I can take this and put it on the outside or put a port where I can pull this out and charge it right inside but I'm thinking that might not necessarily be the best idea given that the fact that lipos like to blow up sometimes when you charge them so I'm figuring it's probably a lot safer for me to uh, pull the battery out but um, these batteries being about eight dollars or nine dollars a pop at Hobby King nine dollar ESC from uh, or ten dollar ESC from uh, RC timer this uh, the project box was five dollars and something the cigarette lighter thing, I bought one where it has your mail type, you plug it in your car and it would give you two uh, females on the outside 
as you can see I just snipped one off as you can see right there I, I, I cut one off and I put a jeans on it um, that was uh, $6.99 so overall this project cost about $20 uh, give or take little pieces this is a little harder to find this is an external mount um, a female USB plug and it's not as easy to find as uh, a PC mount um, and if you get a straightforward cable you can't really um, mount it so that it, it sits rigid and won't push or, or pull out. It's a little harder. To, you'd have to pull the cable out and plug the cable in, um, which is what I believe Jetaman Dan did, if I remember correctly. Um, but this one, I wanted it to be on the project box so it didn't move, so you just took it and took your USB cable and plugged it straight in, and then that was the end of it right there. Um, I wanted it to be completely self-contained in that respect. So I just got to solder these on. Uh, I only had them twisted for testing purposes to make sure that I had the right polarity and uh, I do have the right polarity so I'll, I'll clean that up and I'll probably shorten the cable a little bit as well just to make sure it's not too too long but uh, very straightforward um, that's that's the project right there in a nutshell and uh, I've tested it it works runs the inverter I've plugged in my phone it charges my phone I've plugged in my mp3 player it's charging my mp3 player um, I don't know exactly how long the battery will last off the top of my head I haven't actually got to that stage of testing yet but it'll run for quite some time and it runs pretty good so far so I'm looking forward to uh, to getting this whole thing together and having it portable so that I could take it anywhere I go or throw it in a bag and then you know worst case my laptop or something run my laptop on the on, on the field or uh, even <laughs> oddly enough <laughs> the lipo battery charger take it and, and run the lipo charger to actually put a charge into another battery depending on the size um, or hot repairs or whatever like uh, Scott Lauded uh, had suggested but there it is. I uh, just got to finish assembling the project box and making it look a little neater. But um, uh, it's uh, it looks like it's it's off to a good start. So it's it's there's just a quite question of mounting everything at this point. But um, there we go. That's that's the project in a nutshell. And I'll show you some pics of it after I get it all mounted and plugged in. And with uh, I'll give you some test stats and whatnot and voltage readings and it's straightforward. Like this is. Uh, this isn't even fully charged right now, and it's running everything I want to do. I believe the cells are uh, 3, 3.8, 3 3.8, and 3.7, I think it is. Um, so this isn't even a fully charged battery, and it's running everything just perfectly, even even on that. So, um, which reminds me, I have to charge it. But anyway, uh, there it is.